Hey Internet, are you ready to go to court? My name is Stevie Paris from Paris and Paris Attorneys at Law, and I'm going to try to justify sampling. Your Honor, sampling should be considered legal on the basis of a single, well-used argument. There's a concept called fair use, which says that one is allowed to make a change to a work if it's being repurposed for the sake of criticism, commentary, and my favorite, recontextualization. It is the belief of the defendant that samples of a few seconds fall under the realm of fair use, and more specifically, recontextualization, and therefore are legal. It is the belief of the defendant that this right of fair use does not include longer samples, but an unrecognizable or barely recognizable sample of two or less seconds should not be penalized under law. The works of past artists must also be taken into account, as, before the ruling, artists like Public Enemy used hundreds of samples in their songs. Was their act legal? If so, it seems an injustice that a previous era would be allowed a right that we no longer have today. The defendant does not claim that a sampled artist should not be recognized for their work either, but rather the correct system of licensing does not apply to samples of a smaller duration. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all. A quote from Hamlet. It's often easy to submit to what the law says and not to question what the authority says to be true. In my interview with Jim Klein, he said thus, The only impediment to creativity is when you want to take my compositions and use them without my permission and without compensating me. That is not right. It's against the law and it should be against the law. I work very hard to create my art. I disagree. It's not easy to disagree, as I often prefer to submit to the call to authority, but I disagree. I think that the intensive copyright system can and does limit creativity. I recognize that copyright is designed to protect artists, and as an artist, I appreciate that. However, I frankly think the laws on sampling are just too strict. But I'm not out to kill the copyright system. I don't think it's a bad thing. After all, without the copyright to protect accomplished artists and producers, we wouldn't have good music to sample in the first place. In my next video, I'll try to wrap it all up for you guys and explain what I think the solution to this mess is. But for now, that'll be all. This is Stevie, signing off.